All right, <laughs> layers and layer sets. Um, layers allow you to turn things on and off in your plan, period. That's all they do. They allow you to turn things on and off in your plan. That's it. Nothing else. There's no other magic involved in layers other than they allow you to display things differently, too. Um, like I can, I can display the same line, you know, 10 different ways on different layer sets, dotted, black, blue, red, whatever. Layer sets, now layer sets allow you to turn groups of items on and off at any time. Okay, here you, layers allow you to put things on individual layers, and you can turn individual items on and off. But layer sets allow you to turn things on and off all the time, all at once. And that's your layer icon right there. Looks like a check mark. All right, if all the layers in your plan are on, and it's not showing up in your plan, that means the item's not in your plan. Everything in your plan has to be on a layer. It has to be. The goal. Draw everything in one plan using layers. So you're going to have separate layers for, you know, you, you're not going to have different plans to show, to show electrical, mechanical, framing, plumbing, those, those sort of things. You're going to determine what views are needed. You're going to have a standard floor plan with dimension notes. You're going to have a framing plan. You're going to have an electrical plan. You're going to have a plot, a plat plan. You're going to have all these different things that, that you need to display for, for your plan. Everything is drawn in one plan. And you use layers and layer sets to control what you see at any given time. All right, you're going to determine the views needed early on. You're going to keep your layers organized. You can use different sets for different views. And you're going to copy on the layout and then select layer sets. And that's really cool. Let me show you how that works. All right, so what we're going to do, back into Chief here. And I have a plan set up here. Let me close this. And I'll close this. And this. And file. And I have a... Um, all you have to do to open a plan, by the way, is just drag it on the chief and it'll open it. Uh, that's the layout, which is all right. I want to show you that anyway. And I could just double click on a view to open the plan, but I'll just actually open the plan separately by dragging it on the screen. So there's my plan. And as you're working on a plan, the first thing you want to try to determine, well, okay, I, I have to have a floor plan, and I have to have uh, you know, my dimensions. I've got to have an electrical layout, plot plan. I'm going to have show my framing in the plan. Um, and I want to show the as-built. You know, so what do you want to have? What's your final drawing going to look like? And that will help you determine which layer sets to use. So in this particular plan, I have a default layer set, which is my standard lines. I have an electrical. I have framing. I have a plat plan. And I have a, um, I thought there was one other, a roof plan. Okay, this, so this plan has five different layer sets. And let's go look at how that looks on the layout page. The layout's where we assemble all of our different views. So here's, here's my plat plan. I didn't mean to do that. Here's my plat, plat plan. Okay, that's one of my layer sets. Here's the uh, new floor plan. This is my as-built plan. That's a whole different plan. You can do that. Here's my first floor plan, third, second floor plan. All the last three views are all one layer set. Here's the roof plan, showing just the roof layout. Here's the framing view. Here's the electrical plan. All right, so all of those items are coming from one plan. I don't have five different plans. It's coming from one plan. So how does that work? So basically, as you're working on your plan and you've determined what you need, you're going to keep things on different layers. And at any time, you can switch back and forth between the different views by switching to different layer sets. OK, so you see how this changes? Just by switching to a different layer set. What is a layer set? A layer set is nothing more than taking the list of items in your plan, copying it to a new set of items. Okay, Remember, this list never changes. It's always the same. But what does change is what's turned on and off, and what does it look like. So all of these items can be different on every layer set. The names of the items are the same. The items over here are different. All right, So that's how you can do that. 
So if I look at the uh, plat plan, plot plan, and I click OK, I go to the first floor. It takes a little getting used to, um, and it, believe me, as you draw with Chief and you start using layers and layer sets, it will hit you like a ton of bricks. Oh, I got it. Now it makes sense. At least you've seen now the concept. Now, let me show you one quick thing about that before I move out of here. And on the layout page, all right, let's say that I've got my floor plan here with my standard dimensions and everything on it, but on the next page I want to show my framing plan or I need on a different page. I'm going to insert a page here. Here's the layout. I can do this. I can insert different pages. So I've just inserted a blank page before. So I'm going to just click on this. I'm going to hit the copy button. I'm going to hit go to this page. And I'm going to go edit, paste, and hold position. I'm going to put that same exact view on a different page. Okay, so now I have this view here. And now I have this view here. But as I go into the items, and again, every view on the layout page, the floor plan and elevations, it's like a viewport back to the plan. It's a viewport. It's like a hole in the page. Layers are controlled by this icon for this view. So we click on that button down here. Remember, we have layer sets set up that control what we see at any one time as a group. Well, let's go there and say, in this particular view, I want to see my framing layers. Same list, different things turned on and off. Click OK. Boom. There you go. I didn't even have to send this view to the layout again. I just copied and pasted it to a different page and selected a different set of layers. That's cool. I mean, that, that'll save you a lot of time.